What's going on guys, coming to you again with another review, and this is to Thor, Love and Thunder. First off, we just want to say thank you for all the hard work that the producer, the cast has, you know, put towards this movie. We're just going to get right into the review. First and foremost, what did you guys think overall about the movie? Overall, core score, let's go ahead and start with that. I, I liked it. Oh yeah, I liked it more than I thought mm -hmm. I was right. going to. Mm -hmm. um, there were a lot of negative reviews out there, but... Going into the movie theater, we didn't put that right in front of our faces. We just went in the movie, decided to think for ourselves, and mm -hmm. I liked it. Yeah, I, I thought um, I would give it like a eight point five out of ten. Okay. Um, possibly even higher. I, mean, I can give it an eight point nine to be honest. I had fun with the movie, and I think overall that's what I want to do when I go to the movies. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like. I want to watch a movie, I want to enjoy it, I want to laugh, Right. Mm -hmm. I want to be like, oh shit, look at that fight scene. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, and I think it accomplished that. Okay. For me. For me, I'm going to rank it just a little bit lower. I liked it. I'm going to have to put it towards that very, very, very high C range. Low B, so 7.9, 8 range. <clears throat> Not 8 range, 7.98. But overall, I liked it. I prefer, I like uh, Thor Ragnarok uh, just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Oh hell nah. <laughs> but um, that was the worst. All right, so as y'all know, I saw it twice. The first time, I think I walked away thinking it's eight point five, and I saw it twice. Well, the second time, and I think I'll bump it up to an eight point three. I mean, okay. eight point five, eight point five. Okay. Um, you know, I think I went into it with low expectations, so when. I think I liked it more the second time because when you realize what it is, you can appreciate it for what it is, if that mm -hmm. makes sense. Like, mm -hmm. I wasn't kind of expecting a whole, nothing crazy. But, like, when you see what they were trying to accomplish, I think they hit the mark, basically. Mm -hmm. Right. And we were also kind of, like, concerned because it was two hours, and I think that's one of the... Mm -hmm movies in the MCU that has like the shortest runtime so we were kind of like a little bit concerned a little worried but no nah, I think it was good for the most part it, it hit it right like you were saying RJ it hit it right on the on the nail it, so. it, when you bring that up it reminds me that like I didn't even worry about the runtime I thought it was like the probably the perfect runtime I agree yeah I didn't even think about oh damn how much longer is this movie gonna be mm -hmm. it didn't even really feel that short to be honest no it didn't feel short it, it felt like the perfect amount mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's the other thing. When a movie does that, I think that's another goal that they should like try to go for because I feel like I've thought about that in a lot of Marvel movies. Like, okay, how much longer do we have here? Not in a, like a negative way, but like Right. It takes me out the it takes me out the story mm -hmm. when I gotta think about how much longer this movie is. Mm -hmm. It did give me an idea though, it was like how um Justice League kinda came out with two different movies when they had the unedited version yeah i was thinking like like people like uh marvel or other people could actually start doing something similar they could make a rated r version of this movie and it would probably outsell the pg-13 because oh yeah it would you know i think i wanted more of gore killing the gods yeah so if they added you know maybe 30 extra minutes of just gore like going to work on some rated r shit mm-hmm Oh my god! Yeah, because we never saw him actually kill yeah anybody. Right? But, yeah, I think he chopped the guy's head off in the beginning, oh, but yeah. we didn't see. Uh, yeah, didn't see it. We didn't see it. They just panned to the the head on the ground. Yo, if they added 10, 15 extra minutes of that and made it rated R, yeah, it, it would have made hella money. That was gonna be my uh, next transition. What What's your thoughts? What are you guys' thoughts on Gore? My thoughts on Gore. I feel like, like, I think we talked about it a little bit after the end of the theater. Gore, I feel like, had a lot of potential. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, if they put him in other movies, I wouldn't even be mad. He was a good villain. I don't think they will, though. Right. No, they won't. Because he's kind of a good guy now. Not a good guy, but at the end of the he's, movie. He's uh, cured, I guess you could say. Right. Yeah. And he... he... I mean, he essentially left his daughter with Thor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why would he ever go back and like try to hurt Thor at this point? Mm -hmm. If right. they brought him back, right? He would never. He would never. Mm -hmm. That's Thor's like child now, essentially. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they could. They, there's no way they would bring him back. Yeah. Unfortunately, because like you said, I right. think we we wanted more of Gore, and I think 
I think Marvel, if Marvel has a flaw, it's like expanding on their villains. Yo. And I don't understand why, because I want to see some of the same villains appear in other movies. I think we've said this before mm-hmm. in some of our reviews. It's like, I want them to reappear. I want them to... It don't have to be this movie. It could be in that movie or that movie. And you just start seeing more of a connection instead, instead of keep bringing, like, random villains into the movie, killing them off, random villains in the movie, killing them off. Because we fall in love with these characters and we never get to see them again. It's, it's interesting because when we reacted to the trailer, that was my main thing was Gore is, like, the best villain in the past decade that's a new villain in the comics and i was worried like oh my god they're gonna ruin gore like he's so badass and so i felt like jeff but now that i've seen the movie i think it was perfect like i don't want more gore you don't nah surprisingly not because Mm -hmm. his mission was to kill the gods Mm -hmm. so he, he he failed you know what i mean like there's nothing i thought gore was amazing i thought he was badass I wasn't left wanting more. Like okay. I was satisfied, was satisfied with his ending. Okay. Unlike Hella, like <laughs> Hella had more of a, a a forced ending, but I, I like how they <clears throat> ended it with Gore. Yeah, Gore was he was a phenomenal villain. The way he, the creepiness, the mm-hmm. all the oh, yeah. all the black, and his world, and yeah. they came with the what is it, Necro oh, Sword? Oh my gosh, the cinematics when it was black and white was. Mm-hmm. Oh my, that was tight. All right, let's not jump. <laughs> We'll get there. That we'll was there. that was really good how they did that. And I loved his uh, his eyes. Mm-hmm. His eyes were super, super, super creepy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think uh, I think they they did go perfect though. Okay, let's transition over to the comedy aspect. What do you guys think about the comedy compared to the other Thor movies? Thor Ragnarok. I was dying in that theater. What? I was dying in that theater. That, oh it was funny God. as hell. That so, shit was so corny. If we compare the comedy to the past, the last Thor movie to this movie, I thought Ragnarok blew this movie out of the water when it came to comedy. See, I think this movie tries. I don't think Ragnarok tried as hard to be funny. And I think that's why it nailed it. I gotta watch Ragnarok again because y'all are tripping. I think you're, no, you're y'all are tri- oh, Ragnarok you're right. was not funny, yo. It didn't feel forced at all in Ragnarok. And what? So in yeah. this movie, it kind of did feel just a little bit. I'm not a lot. It wasn't. This movie wasn't really cringy when it came to comedy, this, like people were saying. But it just a lot of the funny stuff were either in the trailer or if it wasn't in the trailer in the movie, it just felt just a little bit forced, just a little bit. Um, oh, yeah. I think that. Uh, Ragnarok did so well, and the director, which is Taika Waititi, the, okay. the guy who plays Korg, I think he did Ragnarok, and everyone loved it, except for RJ. And, <laughs> and he was like, I gotta go for more of this, this kind of route. Okay. And so that maybe that's why he made this movie that way, because you can definitely see that those two movies were made by the same person. Okay. For sure. So he directed this movie. He well. directed this movie okay. as well. So you can tell that he kind of like went based off of that okay, and maybe pushed those aspects a little more in this movie. Mm-hmm. And I didn't have any problem with it because I know that I don't like watching reviews or, or reading stuff, but I tend to sometimes go like on Rotten Tomatoes and look at what they say. And a lot of people were complaining about the comedy aspect is too funny. It's Which too one? Funny. Right on? This one. Oh, okay. And That's crazy. So yeah, I was expecting it to be one of those like forced funny not so serious movies, but I, th- I think they they were able to nail it right on the head and give like, uh, like a f- like a it, f- it felt like a Marvel movie. Okay, I enjoyed it. I felt like the comedy part. He took my advice. <laughs> <laughs> Your advice. In, in Ragnarok, I felt like it was too many jokes. It was too mm. forced. Everything the opposite of what y'all said. Like it was too much comedy for me. Okay, it wanted so, more of a serious tone. Yeah, so in this one, they would say a joke, but they would get serious right after that. I love that. Okay. Like, it was your cup of tea. Okay. Yeah, like, <laughs> when he told Gore, like, damn, you need to brush your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did he say that? Yeah, no, he, he said, said uh, he said, oh, yeah, 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 you're right. He was like, you need to give me that hammer. He was like, you need to go to the dentist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then it got serious right after that. Like right, they right. didn't Ragnarok. I hated that they kind of stayed on it. Like okay, it, that transition in Ragnarok wasn't as 
drastic to me. So like, okay. I think the comedy here was a lot better. It wasn't as much comedy as Ragnarok, which I liked. Okay. Um, but it was just way more serious. Like he took the kids. Like it was way more. I, I think Jeff had mentioned this before. It was like you feel you felt more threatened. There was no threat in the Ragnarok to me. Okay. It was more of like a let's seeing them all bond together. Okay. Mm, I would disagree a little bit because I felt like there was a point where Hella killed all of Thor's friends and I was like, okay, she's serious. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, she, she killed, killed the all army. of them. Up. She killed yeah, the army yeah. too. They kind of showed it in the beginning of the movie mm -hmm. where, I mean, I think that's the same movie where Odin died, right? Yeah. So Odin dies. Yeah. And you're like, okay, this dude is gone. And then she kills off his friends and like some of some Asgardians and you're like, okay. See, I, that's what I like about some of like Marvel, Marvel movies where it's more of a serious tone, mm -hmm. but you can still nail it with the, you know, funny. You don't got to be full on dark uh, Batman. Mm -hmm. right. you, know? you don't got to be completely funny like the Guardians either. But I do think, you know what? Now I'm, I'm running around, but I think Marvel does the best job at making a variety of movies for different people. Yeah, for sure. You got Doctor Strange, which was more serious tone, not as funny. But then you have this movie, which is more funny. Then you have Guardians, which is more funny. But then you have serious tone movies mm -hmm. where you got Black Panther, which is a very serious... I mean, they got serious uh, background and storylines. But they, you know, still throw a little, like, you know, comedy in there. Right. Mm -hmm. But they, it's, it's a variety of different movies, and they're able to nail it. Yeah. That's why I think I love the way that Marvel makes their movies compared to that of i mean i'm not saying it's better than dc but i prefer it right personally that's uh one thing that marvel does a uh, good job of catering to all audiences mm -hmm. so let's transition into the fight scenes of this movie mm -hmm. what did you guys think about the fight scenes uh i really enjoyed the fight scene where in the beginning mm -hmm. where thor was helping <clears throat> uh, the guard or guardians and thor they were helping each other out to kill that one army yeah like the birds the, the birds yeah that i love that one scene where he was giving a <laughs> speech and now looks like i think he took off the robe or whatever he was wearing uh -huh. and then he just completely yeah. destroyed the whole army solo by himself <laughs> the bird, birds remind me of the muppets <laughs> oh yeah they muppets. Do. remember the show the muppets from um oh oh um yeah yeah i know you're talking about i forgot their names though yeah yeah yeah, yeah. um but I love that fight scene. That fight scene was great. No, 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 no. And then at the that end, that was my least. Hold on. Okay. What? That was my least. I hated that shit when this motherfucker did the splits. I said, uh, "What the hell are we watching, yo? <laughs> this is a SNL skit. This can't. <laughs> this can't be real. This is an SNL skit. He's doing the splits and then he's looking at him like. And like, then all of a sudden he just pushed them off. I was like, "Yo, like the that. whole movie's gonna be like this. I'm going to sleep." <laughs> was a cool comedy yes. aspect to it it was just showing how the his showcase of his powers and how strong he is and you know what i mean strongest of not doing no splits though i can go i can go without that <laughs> um piggyback off of that i saw some fighting that i'd never seen thor do before he did like a backwards kick and it destroyed one of the the tanks yeah, yeah. i was like what the hell when did he learn how to fight like this yeah so you could tell he i mean he might be the strongest avenger he was doing yeah. a lot of training, you know, when uh, Korg was doing, yeah, when Korg was telling the story how he and their uh, guardians were That's over the thing years. I loved about the movie is they showcased his strength and abilities more than I feel like we've ever seen, really. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, especially, not to keep going to Ragnarok, but Ragnarok and um, um, Endgame, we knew when his eyes turned blue. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shit's yeah. about to go down. Yeah. But this movie, we got it a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. we did. And uh, yeah, I like that. I forgot about that. Yeah. They they really showcased his his strengths. Like he was actually getting busy. Yeah, I like that. I'd like to see him. I mean, I get it. We didn't get that much of the Guardians, and I think I heard some people complain about that as well. I actually like that though. I I was fine with it. Yeah, because it's a solo movie. You don't want it to be a Thor featuring Guardians of the Galaxy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We don't want that. But it's a solo movie. To say to go off of that, I wouldn't mind seeing like. A Disney Plus or even a movie I'd love to see either one just to see what they did you know before this okay like little snippets maybe like of them just like joking around on the ship mm -hmm. 
little fight scenes. Small adventures that they've been through. Right. Mm-hmm. That would be really cool to watch. It's I cra- agree. Everything I thought going in, i doing a, 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 the opposite now. Because, like, I think when we saw the trailer, I was excited to see him with the Guardians. And then once we actually saw it, I was like, all right, I don't want to see this. Because <laughs> when we left off in game, it was serious. He lost mm-hmm. his eye. And then when we got introduced <clears throat> to them in this movie, it was back to the jokey jokes. And I, it just wasn't that funny to me. <laughs> it was like kind of cringy. It was like, all right, can y'all hurry up and bounce? You know what I mean? I really like how uh, you can tell that they've been through a lot because it seems like Star Lord and Thor no longer hate each other. When they were on the ship, they showed like yeah. a little montage of them. They were just chilling, they were drinking, trying to... and they were laughing. Okay. Yeah. And then when they left off, they were like, it seemed like there was some love there. Like, mm-hmm. all right. I think it's because he knew that he was hurting his eyes still. So I get... like that. Even though I liked the little banter that they had, mm-hmm. I, I, I liked the like progression of the story. So I guess the Guardians left, and then now they're going to go off to a different... Mm-hmm. They were supposed to help other gods, right? Yeah. So I guess like, that's probably we'll where... the other calls. I guess we're yeah. going to come on. We're, that's where we're going to... Where they're going to leave off? Where they're going to leave off in the, for the next movie oh, for them. Guardians of the Galaxy When does that come out? I don't even think they announced it. Yeah, oh, I don't think so. They just announced that somebody... There's a death. That's it. Mm-hmm. Um, another <laughs> huge, a big strength of the movie, I feel like. I can't remember the last time we saw a movie where they had four star actors so equally balanced. Like, everyone had pretty much the same amount of shine, I feel like. Lady Thor, Valkyrie, Hulk, not Hulk, Thor, mm-hmm. and uh, Gore. Like, they, all of them stole the show at the same time. And, like, I can't remember a movie where we saw... It was just so equally balanced to me, you know what I mean? What I really appreciated is how much screen time uh, Valkyrie got. Like she's, yep. she's great actor. Mm-hmm. I love her story. You love her. her I love her. <laughs> <laughs> the fight scenes. She's she's hard. Those two knives that she got. Um, the fight scene at the end where it was like <clears throat> Thor versus Gore, and it was Lady Thor and Valkyrie <laughs> versus. <laughs> Uh, when, we, when they were fighting on the yeah, the world yeah, with those yeah. monsters, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. That mm-hmm. was a, that she, was a tough shot. And she was staying. She was going at it with Gore too. Yeah, until he and they like switched, and stabbed her. Yeah, they switched partners at one point too. Oh my god, that, was, that, that, was, that was amazing. I, I love when Marvel does that. Um, we used to see it only in the Avengers mm-hmm. when they would like fight and like help one another. Like I, I want to see more of that. We got all these heroes. We gotta see when like. He throws the th- the hammer and they throw it back at each other or shit like that. Like I love I love seeing that. Yeah, but that's that also cool. what I loved about it too, because it wasn't like the Avengers were like, "Are right, you fighting the minions?" And then, right, right, right. Like they all took turns fighting Gore and like I like they that. all had their moment. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I agree. Like Valkyrie, she didn't seem like a sidekick or a, a B character. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, she, it was like very equal. So, what do you guys think of Lady Thor? Her story, her story. And how she progressed through the movie and the ending of Lady Thor. I liked it. Um, I think it felt <clears throat> like that's what they needed to do. You know, that's what happens in the in the comics. I think she gets cancer. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so it makes sense for her to die off the way that she did, and for her to feel that strength through the hammer, and. I think it was a good, like, heartfelt moment for Thor to finally, like, let her go. Okay. Um, didn't want to see her go, of course. I right. Would love mm-hmm. to see, I didn't, yeah. I would love to have had her stay around and be in future movies, but right. it makes sense in terms of the storyline. Mm-hmm. She was in Valhalla with Heimdall. Mm. So, the only thing about Toby. that is, <laughs> is they said you have to die in battle. Technically, she died she, after the battle. Yeah. But... She still made it to Valhalla. Right. I like um, when they mentioned uh, Heimdall's son. Mm, I was like, oh, yeah, shit. Yeah. We, got, we got some uh, leftovers yeah. from Heimdall. Okay. Yeah, what, All right. Who was he fucking? Yeah, I was about to say, who was he with? He's like, who's the floating head? Remember <laughs> Korg? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, there's no way you can say. Well, you can't say. Uh, Thor has lost the most out of every <laughs> Avenger. 100%. Is Wanda an Avenger? Yeah. Oh. He lost his daddy, his mommy, his, mommy, his, his brother, brother, 
His brother. His brother. <laughs> his brother, his brother. did. <laughs> that part well, was funny. The how Asgardians. They did it. The Asgardians, yeah. I like and his Korg girlfriend. Was, I like when Korg was telling that story. Yeah, He's so... Like, his, so everybody. Yeah, so the pain that he has gone through makes a lot more sense now that you said that. Mm -hmm. Like, he's completely just lost everybody. And I imagine what... I mean... And he's still going strong about it, too. Yeah. He, 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 he was sad about this death, but I don't think he took it as hard as he took, like... His mom. His, oh, yeah, his shit. Mom his, was his mom was the hardest, for sure. And then Loki... But, you know, Loki's still out there. He doesn't know that, though. <laughs> he doesn't know that, though. Oh, shit. I forgot about that. Yeah. And the Loki tattoo. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Yeah, it's a Rip Loki. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I like that. And I love his his suits. They had the classic oh, Thor suit. yeah. Oh, shit. His suit was fire. <laughs> I love the blue. That suit was fire. And how they, like, gold and blue. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, and then uh, the cape. I don't that, know if you guys was, pay attention to the cape. That was that the cape, classic suit. That mm -hmm. cape looked night like... I remember when they were walking and it was the daytime. I don't know what the hell it's made out of. It looked but it like looked, some rich velvet. Yeah. And it was it looked like the red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> the that red shit, carpet. <laughs> that shit was thick. Oh my god. Yeah, right. it looked thick. It looked yeah. heavy. His, he had a helmet too. At one yeah, point. Yeah, With like the wings? The yeah. Oh my god. It was hard. Yeah. I know we've talked about uh some of the best costumes or the best uh uh That's uh, up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was that, definitely that's, up there. that's that's up there. It might be my new favorite. I, and, and they they did Stormbreaker dirty the whole movie though. He yeah, was a side chick. they did. He was. <laughs> yeah, it was funny though. It was funny. Um, so wait, he doesn't have Stormbreaker anymore, right? He gave it to Han. Did he give it to Han though? No. What happened then? I think Stormbreaker went to um his daughter. You right? It was she holding it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You right? And mm -hmm. I think he got it. He, he, he got his... near back. Yeah. Okay. And, and it got like crayon. On. Yeah. Crayon, yeah. <laughs> um, what do you guys think about Zeus? He was cool. I liked him. I'm glad he's not dead. I thought he was pretty funny. I, I, I didn't feel like he needed to stay alive. I think the only reason he stayed alive is because he's Russell Crowe. I was actually kind of shocked that he, like... They, they killed him. Yeah. Right I, through his fucking I was chest. shocked that that happened because, yeah. like, you're Zeus. Yeah. How did that happen to you? Right. Shit went right through him. Yeah. And then his son at the end. Mm, yeah. Hercules. So we want to talk about the post credit scenes? Yeah. Let's talk about the post credit scene for a second. Hercules. Do you think he has a role going forward? They kind of made it seem like... That he would? Go kill Thor for me. Uh -huh. Essentially. So we're about to get a Thor 5? <laughs> well, they <laughs> said Thor will return. Oh, yeah. That's true. Damn. But it doesn't mean his own movie. It could mean like... It could be Avengers like... Or I, or the Disney Plus show. Any kind of way, I guess. Yeah. I feel like he's going to replace Thor as... For real? I think so, because... Does he play like... I don't want that. Does he, <laughs> does he play a good guy in the comics? Yeah. He's he's like a part of the all these teams. Okay. He's like an Avenger at one point. He's in the Thunder... He's in a group with Kamala Khan. Like, he's a good guy. So I feel like he's going to be like Thor. Like, when Thor first came to Earth... He looked at them like puny humans, <laughs> but then he learned and he started to love them. So I feel like that's gonna happen with Hercules. Like, okay, you know, he wants to go and show his dominance, but he's like, oh shit, they cool down here. <laughs> like, they cool down here. <laughs> but him and Thor are always are, are known to have that rivalry. So like, I think they'll definitely go at it, but he's he's not gonna be a villain. Okay, okay. Thor and Mighty Thor. <laughs> They were battling Gore towards the end, and then you know Thor, you know, gave his speech to the kids. So we got the we got Thor kids. What did you guys think about the Thor kids? Y'all know I hated it at first. <laughs> um, I actually even liked it. On my second watch, I thought it was dope. It was creative. Mm -hmm. It was, you know, what it reminded me of. It reminded me of the equivalent to Doctor Strange when they fought with the musical notes. It was oh, like at the same point in the movie. Yes. It was like their version of that, but done a lot better. Because y'all know I hated the uh, the, the Disney music. fight. Yeah. But um, some that, of the kids should have got slapped around, though. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see. I was, I, was, I was actually looking for that. Right. To I was see like, if they were getting like, like, beat up. Somebody just get pushed or something. <laughs> right. But it, it that almost, didn't happen. It kind of like uh, reminded me when the girl had the, the doll. It almost kind of reminded me of like a Pikachu. Remember oh, she yeah. She the, like... 
Yeah. yeah, with the thunderbolt going around. Yeah, like, oh, shit. that's like, hard. Yeah. A little bit of Pikachu vibes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, one of my favorite parts of the movie that is like nothing is Korg's uh, storytelling. His, I, I love the storytelling. Oh yeah. In the beginning. Yeah. And then at the end, Facts. where he's like da 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 da. And he has a daughter, mm-hmm. and their name is Boom Love and oh, Thunder. That, yeah. was like, that was hard. Yeah, that was hard. I don't know why I love that part of the movie. Yeah. I was like, because it was like, yeah, it, and his voice is just so therapeutic. Like yeah. you just, you just keep talking. Like I want to, yeah, yeah, just keep going. <laughs> so that was a good addition to the, um, the movie. I think you know, as a comic reader, they had the perfect blend of the comics. Like you know, with uh, Lady Thor's story with her getting cancer. And then Gora's story, it was the perfect mesh of uh, both of those storylines okay. uh, for me. I don't know. I think this movie is going to age better than we think. I think so, too. I agree. It's definitely the better half of uh, the Marvel movies that we've seen. Uh, for me, it's the best Thor movie. Yeah. And it... Oh, but out of one, two, and three? Yeah. Do you think it's the best? Okay. By far. Nice. The other ones are easily forgettable. <laughs> but this like I said I thoroughly enjoyed and I think it's it's up there I don't, I don't, I don't want to say it's a top 10 movie but it's it's close okay. it's, it has a good replayability mm-hmm. oh for sure mm-hmm. it definitely it has a lot of replay value for sure um, and it's we, never, we didn't even talk about this it's the first it might be the first ever uh, fourth what is it the fourth um, movie for a uh, superhero mm-hmm like I don't think any superhero has gotten a fourth movie. Yep. Nobody not else. Not DC, has. not Marvel, nobody. Mm-hmm. Right. And it looks like we might get five. Yeah. I, and I and to be honest with you, I I wouldn't I wouldn't have no problem with that. Yeah. I agree. Oh, if we, we also forgot to mention how dope it was that that was Thor or Chris Hemsworth's actual daughter. Oh yeah. 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 I thought that was pretty. Yeah. Dope. The chemistry that was that that they had mm-hmm. in the movie, I was like, why is the chemistry between these two so amazing? Mm-hmm. And the fact that you guys said in the group chat that that was actually his actual daughter, I was like, that makes sense now. Mm-hmm. And that family about to be rich. Yeah. And she did such an amazing job in the movie. She, she was sprinting on the beach. I was like, okay, yeah. girl, get it. <laughs> So, so what power, she has like some powers. Yeah, that's what I was going to wonder eyes. too. Like what are her powers? Mm-hmm. Because before Gore <clears throat> died, did he have any type of powers? Do you know? No, but when I, I was, that was my question after we saw it. But when I saw it the second time, Korg did say um, the daughter of Gore, Gore or born from eternity with God powers. Uh. So since she came from eternity... Okay. I guess she might have some powers from Eternity. Okay. Because Eternity is one of the strongest beings in Marvel. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess that's how she got her powers, because he, Eternity brought her back to life. Uh, okay. Yeah, I think I gotta watch it again. Young okay. Avengers. We got hella kids. We got a kid, We got so many kids <clears throat> introduced. Young Patriot. We got Young Falcon, Falcon Soldier. Soldier. Young Jock. <laughs> Wanda's kids. Wanda's kids. Kamala. Loki, I think, was only. Sh- oh, we got Kid Loki. Kid Loki. Hawk. Uh, Hawk. Hawkeye. Girl, what's her name? Oh, uh, uh, Kate Bishop. Kate Bishop. Damn. Um, they introducing a lot. A lot of kids. I wonder who the villain is gonna be. I was wondering if um, she's gonna be a villain, possibly. You, for some reason, well, other than Wanda, all these, all the Marvel characters have daughters. Thor got a daughter. Oh yeah. Ant Man has a daughter. Ant Man got a daughter. Iron Man got a daughter. That's uh, them showing their 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 agent too, pushing damn. them pushing them out <laughs> into retirement. That's crazy. I, I like how you brought that up. I didn't um, even realize that. Even uh, well, Clint, he has a boy too, but the daughter is like the main one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Um, the two. Yeah, it's a lot. A lot of uh, bring a lot of uh, women. Mm-hmm. So there were two end credits. We already talked about one with Hercules. What was the other one? The, when um, she went to Valhalla. Jane well, she went to Valhalla. Okay. I wonder, I wonder if... what they're going to do with her, though. Yeah. Like, what... That was weird. Like, yeah, it they... looked like they had plans for her. Mm-hmm. But what what's the plan? <laughs> Did you guys know? I think at some point, I don't know if he... You know, people say stuff if they don't stick with it. But I think uh, Idris Elba said that he no longer wanted to be in Marvel movies. So I think that's one was one of the reasons they killed him off in uh, Infinity Thor Ragnarok? 
Oh, Infinity War. Infinity right. War. And um, so it looks like he's back. Or are they going to expand on that story? I mean, this is heaven, right? They're in heaven right now? Yeah, he, pretty, he pretty much. He stay in Marvel instead of making that Beast movie that we saw. <laughs> Oh my, that Lion movie? That man was in the uh, Lion King. <laughs> that movie looked trash. Bro, I said the same thing to Torian. I was like, this movie. Oh, and they, they punched it. Bro. <laughs> yeah, this man punched a giant lion. I, like, Hell, I was like, man. what is he doing? <laughs> yeah, it was funny. Anyway. It was making money, though. Let's talk about Lady Sif for a second. Lady Sif. You like her? I like her, but the thing is, like, she has so much. I was telling to RJ earlier, she has so much of a role in the past Thor movies, Thor 1, Thor 2. She even had a little role in uh, Thor 3, but in this movie, she didn't. It's like they're slowly diminishing her role, and yeah. she seemed like such a, an important <clears throat> character in the beginning. It almost mm-hmm. made it seem like she was a love interest of Thor. Shit, we saw her in Loki. And we saw her on Loki, Disney, the Disney Plus show. They but her, She's making money, too. Well, I think they replaced her with Valkyrie, to be honest. You think Valkyrie, so? Valkyrie. You mean Valkyrie replaced her? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Okay. I think Valkyrie took her role, but I did like her role even at the end when she was still training the kids. Yeah. They gave her oh a little closure God. to it. I hated that part when Thor came to save her and she, that little joke they had. I hated that shit. When did he say She it? was like, oh, I'll make it to Valhalla. He was like, sorry, the battle's over. Oh, I with Lady Sif. Yeah. But you hated then, that? like I said, they got serious right away. And he was like, oh, maybe your arm's in Valhalla. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, I do I do like how they did the Necro sword, because in the comics, like I said, it's the symbiote. It's like where Venom came from. So I was, I was wondering how they do that. So to make, instead of symbiotes, they had shadow monsters. I thought that was a, a nice uh, transition, too. Yeah, yeah, I like that, too. Because it was similar, but it wasn't the same. Right. Thank you guys for watching our spoiler review. We'll see you guys for the next one. I'm a mom matching the dark. 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 I'm a mom matching the dark.